Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I want to show you how you can get your Zoom meetings from sounding like this to like this. All right, so when it comes to getting sound out of your piano and putting it into your computer so that you can use it in Zoom or you know lots of other things, the product that you need is something called an audio interface. Now, as you can see, this one is pretty reasonably priced and coincidentally, this is the exact same model that I have and I use. I've actually had two different versions of this same one. The last one that I had, I will admit, it did have some quirky things about it where it would not connect, but ever since I got the new version, which is this 96, I have it in a different color, uh, this one I think, or kind of like this one. Ever since I got this newer 96 and I got a new computer that I can plug it into with its own USB slot, it works just fine. Now, when it comes to buying anything, there's always going to be the more affordable options and then the super expensive options like this. This is a audio interface that you are bound to see if you go into a professional studio. And while they're super awesome, I think they could be a little bit overkill. Like I said, I've been using this PreSonus for the past six to eight years, and it served me well in my own personal life as well as professional doing these kind of recordings. Now, before we move on, I want to show you all one more option out there, which is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Now, while I haven't personally used this all that much, I can say that I've seen them a lot of different places, like at my college. In our MIDI lab, every single computer had one of these. So I did use it a little bit, but not all that much to be able to recommend it to you. Although I will say this is something that I bought recently for my dad and I was hoping that with this extra $70 that you're paying over the PreSonus that it would be an easier user experience for setting stuff up. I wanted it to be a plug and play. So maybe for the extra $70 you're getting a little bit better hardware and then maybe even if it's, if it's even just for this, just an easier user experience, it might be worth the $170. But anyways, for this video I'm going to show you how to set up the PreSonus audio box because all of these different options, whether you're at the expensive or at the cheaper one like what I have right here, they're all going to pretty much work the same. All right, so once you have made your selection, what you want to do next is go download something that is called the driver. What the driver does is actually allow your new interface to connect with your computer. So it's super important. Now to find the driver, all you need to do is just go to Google, type in whatever your product is, followed by the word driver. And then probably one of the top little links up here will be exactly what you need. I already have this page open right here for the PreSonus. And you'll notice that if I just scroll down a little bit, I will see the available software downloads. You can choose whatever operating system you have or whatever kind of computer you have, and then just simply download now. Obviously, once it's downloaded, you'll wanna run and install the program that you just installed. And from there, you're good to go. So now that you've bought an audio interface and installed the driver for it, I'm going to now show you how to physically connect your piano to your new interface. So for my particular setup, what I'm doing is connecting my digital piano here to the audio interface via just one cable. And that cable is a quarter inch cable plugged into this aux out section. Now, if you're not familiar with what a quarter inch cable is, let me just show you real quick. They they range in prices. The one that I have, I think is like 20 or 30 bucks. Uh, you know, you can get a $50 one if you want, or you can get this Amazon $5 one. It's whatever you want to do. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm putting the instrument cable into this L plus R. Let me just explain what this is. So if you're not familiar with the aux out section, there are two ports here. One says R, one says L slash L plus R. The R is standing for right channel. The L is standing for left, and what it means to say slash L plus R is that this right here, this channel, can also be used as a combination of the right and left channel together, which is called mono. Now, I don't want to get too deep into the differences of mono versus stereo, but if you only have one port available or you only want to get one cable, this is totally fine. That's what I'm doing here. I'm doing a mono signal out of my piano directly into the audio box over here. Because as you can see, I only have room 
for the piano on this one channel. This right here is my microphone, which I'm talking in right now. So I kind of need that available. So to summarize, if you wanted to get two of those base cables, those quarter inch uh, instrument cables, you could totally send uh, stereo sound into this audio box or audio interface, whatever you have. That's totally fine. It's going to be a good sound. You'll want to make sure that both channels are turned up or turned to the exact same volume so that your right channel is not louder than your left. Or if you want to just do what I'm doing and send a mono signal, that's completely fine as well. Sometimes it's better to keep it simple. So this might be a good option, just sending a mono signal. All right. So once you've gotten this far, you have got your basic setup pretty much complete. From here, all you need to do is go over here into Zoom and you'll see that in the bottom left, there is this little up carrot arrow thing. And if you click on it, you'll see all these different options are available. Now, right up here under the select a microphone, this is going to be your audio interface. And when you want to play the piano, you will want to make sure that you click this button because that's going to allow all the participants in the meeting to hear your piano coming directly out of your piano into your audio interface and consequently into their ears. But a really important note here is that if you want to talk, unless you have some kind of microphone also plugged into your interface, you're going to have to click back to the MacBook Pro microphone or whatever your microphone is on your computer. So hopefully that all makes sense. I just wanted to give a little disclaimer there. Besides that, you're pretty much set up. Now, there are a couple more advanced things and tips that I'm going to show you in this following couple minutes. But as far as like a basic setup, you're pretty much good to go. Now, if you want to learn about how to monitor yourself with headphones or how to actually hook up your computer audio into your piano, that's what I'm going to show you in the following couple minutes. Okay, so let's talk about monitoring. I know it sounds like a fancy word, but really all it means is being able to hear something that others can't. In my case, what I'm doing here is using this headphone port on my digital piano to be able to hear my piano at all times when I have these headphones on. So that means that even if over here in Zoom, I have the MacBook Pro microphone on, yes, you guys won't be able to hear my piano, but if I have my headphones on, I will. Now that's cool and all, but I think what makes monitoring even cooler is when you're able to use this aux in cable right here. What this is, is a direct line of audio from my computer into my piano. What that allows me to do is to hear Piano Marvel, a Zoom call, a YouTube video, whatever's going on on your computer, it's going to allow you to, in those same headphones as your piano, it's going to allow you to also hear other things going on on your computer. So you're not always taking off your headphones. Everything is consolidated into one section. Let me show you how I got this hooked up. You'll notice that over here coming out of my audio interface is a quarter inch cable, which is plugged into the phone's output of my audio box. Now the front of the audio box is a headphones logo attached to this knob. And all that knob is, is just a volume control for how much volume I am sending from my computer into my piano. Now the cables that I have that are making this all work are kind of a mishmash of different cables, but you could easily replicate it with an instrument cable like this and an adapter, such as a quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter adapter like this, or you could probably even just get that same cable, quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter cable if you wanted that. Here's one right here. So lots of different options there. All right, I hope this video was super helpful for you and uh, was able to help you get a cooler setup with Zoom Audio and other stuff. If you have any questions, please feel free to send them over to me to my email. My email is josh at pianomarvel.com. Hope you all have an amazing day. Talk to you later.